if you want to think about the future of medicine and what that entails, think today about the largest car company in the world. Uber doesn't own a single car. Think of the largest hotel chain in the world today. Airbnb doesn't own a single hotel. The biggest medical systems in the future are going to own no hospitals. It's going to be devices that are monitoring the lives of millions of patients simultaneously that's looking to see do you have the beginning signs of a cancer emerging to not treat the cancer but to prevent the cancer from ever occurring. Like that, that day is definitely coming. My name is Dr. Eric Schott. I'm director of the Icon Institute at the Mount Sinai Health System in New York. Please call me Eric, I'm not a real doctor. Big data's impact on the practice of medicine is fundamentally gonna transform the physician's ability to personalize care directly for you. And the way we're gonna get that is you have a handheld device that has amazing capability in Bluetooth enabled uh, inhalers for asthma patients, scales, blood pressure monitors, EKG devices, The sequencing of the human genome, that first genome cost us $3 billion to sequence. Today you can do it for $1,000. We're going to have individualized models for each person that maps out their health course trajectory. It will be something that you're engaged in on a daily basis, but not necessarily actively. You're just being triggered if you need to be because the algorithm says, okay, you're at super high risk in the next year of uh, progressing into type 2 diabetes. So if you can catch that before the catastrophic state, then the person's not having to come into the, into the hospital. So I grew up in rural Michigan. I had parents that were very religious, you know, to the point of, you know, diminishing the, the role education should play. I was a kind of a very curious kid and the home life got to the point where I felt like escape into the military was my path. Once I started college uh, and started taking math and computer science that it all clicked. I started in a field called differential geometry, proving things that maybe 10 people on the planet could get and, and maybe there were five that actually cared about what you were doing. How can I put that horsepower into something more meaningful? And that's sort of where I gravitated to biomathematics. I think we have this shift in, in culture that says, you know, being more open and sharing is good, but medicine hasn't kept up with that. I guarantee you what's in my Gmail is far more personal than what's in my medical record. The data has to be more accessible. The ultimate end game is you have this personalized therapy specifically tuned to who you, know, you are, the stuff that's going on inside of you. If the physician can know that, they can better serve the patient, better serve the health system, and it, and it benefits everybody. Mm -hmm.